Hi and welcome to today's Genspiration. Today I'm talking about selecting the right workout bra or sports bra. And I know that sometimes in and of itself, shopping for one and trying them on feels like a workout. And they're also expensive, so it really is an investment. But truly, aside from shoes, I believe that your sports bra is the second best or tied for first in terms of the investment of making for yourself in workout gear. My favorite brand of sports bras are Moving Comfort, and they're the ones that have this little logo. I love them because they continue to make awesome advances. Even since the last time I bought some sports bras, just the feel of the material and the versatility is excellent. So here are some things to keep in mind when you're looking for a sports bra. Some of them are compression, and that is sort of like what you get for the <laughs> uniboob effect or you have encapsulation. And so encapsulation means just like that the cups are, are built into it, which is fantastic because it makes it a more versatile bra in terms of adding shape as well as functionality. Now what you wanna think about when you're buying a sports bra is typically you're better off if you buy some that have um, an enclosure back being that you can adjust with the different lengths that helps you get a more custom fit. If you're buying ones that don't have the clasp in the back, that's okay too. Just recognize that you're not going to be able to continue to adjust the fit as the bra stretches out over time with wear and tear. Now, you're also going to have bras that do and don't have the functionality of strap adjustment, like this one. So I typically like to get the bras that have the Velcro, it's awesome. So this Velcro strap allows you to adjust how tight or loose you want it from a strap perspective, which is fantastic. Or you can get a racer back and adjust that as well. But I think this is really much easier to adjust than the racer back ones because you, you can do it right in the front. And so uh, in terms of how you want your bra to fit, and they've done surveys in terms of professional bra fitters and whatnot, or tips while you're going shopping, is that when you buy your sports bra, you want to be able to be able to stick your finger underneath your band on each side, but not be able to pull out more than half an inch or so. If you're able to do that, then your bra size, the band is too big, so either if you can, you know, hook it to be a little bit tighter, do that. Or if say you buy it and you're already on the, the tightest fit and you're able to still get some wiggle room with that band, buy the next band size smaller. And I know you might think, oh my gosh, and that's like sucking the breath out of me. Don't worry, it will start to loosen up a little bit. You mean you don't want to feel that you're constricting yourself and out of breath, but you do want to be able to buy a bra that offers you support. So be able to only stick your finger in and pull out about half an inch all the way around. Now for the strap wise too, you wanna to be able to have enough support where you are being supported, but not like so much so that you're hunched over. So really when you're going to buy your sports bras, feel free to take them for a test jog in, this, in the fitting room. Jump around, do jumping jacks, jog in place, see what type of support you're gonna get. Really feel whether or not the, the band or the straps are constrictive or you're feeling pinching or chafing anywhere because if it's bothering you in the fitting room, there's no way you're gonna be able to wear it for a workout. So keep that in mind. Also, um, I recommend washing them on the delicate uh, cycle and then hanging them out to air dry because the heat from the dryer breaks down the elasticity so you're getting um, less and less wear out of them and they're becoming looser and looser and saggier and saggier. So you really want to take good care of them, plus they're an investment. What I love about Moving Comfort is, again, like I said, the different shades, colors, awesome fit. Um, they have sizing that's like bra sizing, so you, you know, the band size and the cup size, which makes it fantastic. It makes it easier to go shopping and find what you're looking for in a way that you're more familiar in looking for them. Um, and so they're anywhere from 43 to $50. And so I realize that this is an investment, but really kind of try and keep your bras in a rotation. 
you're able to get one per every workout that you have during the work week or, or entire week so that you're able just to wash them and go and be set for the rest of the week and not have to worry about washing in between the weeks and then rotate them out so as one starts getting a little bit stretchier buy a new one and just keep them on that cycle so those are my tips. If you have any questions, please hit me up. I um, offer personal training and health coaching both in person as well as on the phone and Skype. So I'd love to be able to work with you. Have a great day and we'll be in touch.